Welcome friends. In today's video we are going to go shopping for a pot. We're going to clean up last year's annuals pots and we are going to transplant a hydrangea and an anemone. If you're new to my channel please hit subscribe and like this video and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified to all the new garden and home videos. But first, we shop. So this is the pot I ended up getting. There are no drainage holes, so let's get some drilled right now. So I bought two pots a couple weeks ago. These are larger pots um, because I need to transplant the hydrangea out back because it's grown crooked. I'll show you that when I get outside. And I need to pull out the anemones because they're taking over that garden bed and I need to containerize them. This is, if you're in the US, oh, these are from Home Depot. So that is the size and the brand of it. These are, let me zoom in here for you these self-watering containers, and please flip over the self-watering disc before you plant. So this was a fix, and I clipped the plastic piece. So, so that goes like this. And I don't need to drill here because, see, it already has drainage, which is great. So I guess water, that sticker up, I guess water goes through these slats and collects here so that the roots of whatever's planted in here continue to pull the water up into the plant. Which is kind of great for if you're out of town and you're worried that your plants are gonna die. Now I have to decide where I wanna put these. So one of the big things I have to do today is to get rid of last year annual dead stuff. Ooh, it's breaking already. So I wanna free up these all my pots so that they'll be ready for next year's annuals and I will be annual shopping next weekend. There's a big sale at the nursery I like to go to. It's not exactly around the corner, but it's very well worth it. They have great inventory and uh, I'm really excited about it and I'll take you along. Now this was a lucky year for me. The vinca vines survived the winter and they have flowered. So I'm gonna cut off last year's oh, long stems and let new ones start for this year. Look how long these got. You see this? So I still see green, but I think I'll cut it around here.
also is looking pretty good. So next week, annuals go in. The creeping flocks are looking so beautiful right now. And the peony is leaping out nicely. Looks like it's going strong. Now in the fall, I mixed some bone meal into the soil at the base of this and worked it in because I didn't get any flowers the past two years, but I did the other years. So I don't know what's going on. Let's hope I don't, well, no, I don't see any buds perhaps. Perhaps that will be a bud. Let's hope. And the dianthus are doing well. Okay, so this anemone needs to come out. It needs to be transplanted into a pot, which I have. And I think I know where I'm going to put it. I don't know if I'm going to transplant all of it. I'll take it all out, but I might get rid of some of the tubers. Because what I've learned about these is that they will crowd out root systems of nearby flowers. They haven't affected the dianthus, but there had been a beautiful bellflower that was right here. It was really healthy, flowered beautifully, and last year it didn't come up, and it's not coming up this year either. So I read the best way to deal with these, if you're not going to dedicate a whole bed to them, is to containerize them. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, this space over here, last year I had put a geranium in about right here, and this whole area back here was empty because there's a nearby maple tree. Here it is. And it's leafing out nicely. And the root system is very, very long. And digging into this is really difficult. So I am just going to containerize my annuals over here going forward. The other thing we're going to do today is this hydrangea needs to be transplanted. It flowered beautifully last year, but as the summer wore on, it started growing this way, trying to reach the sunlight because this tree, this beautiful tree, had fully leafed out and created so much shade that it was not getting enough sunlight. So we are also going to move that. And in its place, I am going to put a nice big hosta. They're no fail. That's what we're going to do there. Now back here, things are looking pretty good. The little creeping phlox is doing okay. This one just doesn't do as well as the other one. This astilbe is doing wonderfully. And then there's a smaller one here. The painted fern that I put in last spring is doing great. Hosta number one is coming up. Hosta number two. And in this corner, this year, I promise you, I'm going to put in the bird bath. Okay, so here's my thought for placement. And I need to place it now before I put soil in them, because then they get heavy. There is a big gap between these two catmints, which, by the way, are coming in nicely. Here's the other one. Anyway, so I have this gap between the two of them. And I have this hanging pot right there. So I'm thinking maybe I'll put the hydrangea here. Beneath the pot. And in between the two catmints. I think it fills out that area a little better. And if the hydrangea gets really huge and encroaches on that pot too much, I will have to strong arm the pot and move it. So let's get some soil in here. I'm guessing that a shovel is necessary to do this rather than a trowel. I just think the root system is going to be pretty big on this one.
after quite a struggle, I got it out. A couple of roots are left in the pot. <laughs> so, might another hydrangea grow? Yep. Keep an eye on that. Should be interesting. Nonetheless, I have the majority of the roots here. And let's hope that they have a, an easy time in the new pot. All right, let's get it in there. Now, since it's leaning one direction from being under the tree, I'm going to have that lean face out, out towards the yard this way. See, lots of roots still. This should be okay. Might be in shock though this year. I don't know. This could have been a huge mistake. Okay, here it is. Now for my second pot where I will put the anemones, I think I'm going to put it right here because on the other side of the fence I have these two fountain grasses which we pruned during my last garden video. They're coming up splendidly. Here's the third one. So yeah, I think I'll put that right there. Okay, let's get the soil started. got it all out and all the little babies, little offshoots. I swear these things are like dandelions. They're beautiful when they're in bloom, but boy, pretty aggressive in the, in the garden bed. Okay, plan is I'm just going to really put in the larger bunches and the rest I'm gonna get rid of. These are two big bunches that were clumped together in the garden bed, so I'm going to keep them together. I will give it a good water in, as well as the hydrangea, so the roots have something to grab onto. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and stay tuned for our next videos.